Let's get started with a seven minute full body stretch, allowing yourself to de-stress and rejuvenate. Curl your toes under and just open those arms up and then cactus them to the side. Focusing on really opening through the chest and feeling each one of these moves, how your body wants to feel them. Bringing those elbows forward and back, allowing this to just be opening through your back and through your chest. Lengthen and activate each one of these moves that your body wants to say to you. Make this your own. Next, we go into a tabletop position. As we flow into this one, we go into that belly button coming up towards the spine, allowing everything to curl under and then reversing everything to go the opposite. Taking your time through this one, focusing on your breath, make sure you're breathing, inhaling through the nose deep, exhaling through the mouth and just allowing your body to flow. This one can be a modification where you just take the left leg and hold it there or advanced, you can bring your opposite arm around, pressing the foot into the hand and you'll feel this one through your hip flexors and your chest, focusing on balance and flexibility. When you're ready, go ahead and reverse sides. I love where you can really use either yoga or stretching to improve your strength the balance of flexibility and any sort of pain, what a great way to really relieve it by increasing your blood flow and allowing your body to move. Curling your toes under, going into downward facing dog, bringing those heels towards the ground and then walking it one at a time, allowing the knee to come to chest. Again, focus on slowing it down, listening to your body. Bring that right leg up and then through the hands, dropping the back knee and really opening your arms up, sending your chest up towards the sky. Big deep breath as you go ahead and drop the opposite hand and feel the stretch through your body, arms all the way down to the other arm. You can circle three in one direction and then opposite, feeling anything that feels stiff or tight, anything that needs a little bit more attention, stay there, connect with your body, feel what needs it. Bringing the toes up, the heel stays down, bringing the nose to the knee as you feel the stretch of the back of the legs. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the opposite side. So walk the dog, send those heels to the mat. Taking the opposite leg up, reaching it up nice and high and then stepping it through. Allowing you to focus on letting go of stress, letting go of the day, letting go of the past or the future and just staying present and feeling your body as it is now, giving yourself positive thoughts, love, connection, wholeness, and sending your body with gratitude of what you can feel and what you can do. Sending it down again, feeling this in the back of the legs as the toes come up and the heels are down. Not judging any position or judging yourself, but feeling the body where you're at now and you know, focusing on just that progression over perfection. Going back into your downward facing dog, sending those heels like one at a time into the ground. Dropping it into a plank and then dropping it into an upward facing dog. Advanced is where you can have your thighs floating or modification, you can drop your thighs down to the mat. Puppy pose, this is such a great one to really feel anywhere where you feel tense or tight. Having the hips stacked right up over the knees, the knees are about hip distance apart and just sending your chest and your chin down to the mat. I used to be super unflexible in this position, but with practice, you'll get better and better over time. And this is only seven minutes. Taking one leg at a time and just stretching it back behind you and then crossing it over to the other leg and then reaching in the opposite direction. Anything that feels a little tight, make a little movement and breathe into that area. When you're ready, go ahead and do the opposite side, bringing that foot out to the back, 
crossing it over the other leg and then reaching those arms in the opposite direction. Way to help you become more energetic, a brighter mood. Anytime I feel depressed, I go right into connecting with my body in some sort of movement because depression cannot hit a moving target. Stacking your legs on top of each other, where it's your knees on top of each other, or maybe it's just your thighs on top of each other, whatever works for you. Inhaling up, reaching them out to the side, and then taking a nice good twist and look behind you. Switching the legs now, doing the opposite direction. Inhaling up and reaching it out in front of you. That twist, I learned that twists are so great for your digestion, really improving your core strength and really adding a lot more flexibility into your body. Anything for the neck, um, necks are extremely sensitive. I focus on just going to the front from ear to ear if you're, if you're tight in an area, go slow and really connect. This one, take your ear and then your chin to that one side. And if you're tight, you'll feel it. Ear and chin, go to the opposite side. Filling yourself up with gratitude, with love, connecting to yourself, thanking yourself for being here. Namaste, I see it in you. Have a wonderful day.